Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start using IFTTT, which is if this, then that, for beginners of course in 2024. So we're diving into the world of automation with AFTTT, and of course, or if this, uh, then that. Whether you're looking to streamline your daily tasks or enhance your smart home experience, IFTTT offers a simple and powerful platform for automating various processes. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open whatever browser you're using. Here I'm using Brave. Of course, for you, you can open whatever you have. Then go to this URL section. You'll need, first of all, of course, to sign up for an FTTT account. Then you'll have to visit to their website. So and go here to this URL section, just type EFTTT and hit the enter button. This should take you here, so make sure to click on that. First link, which is EFTTT automates a business and home, and click on it. So if you have an account, of course, you would like to click on login here at the top right corner. Or if you don't have an account, instead, click on get started here or in the middle here, start today. So depending on whatever suits you as example, if you click on get started, you'll be able to create an account using Apple, Facebook, or Google. If you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating your account or even logging in into your account, you'll be able to log in with those options. So for example, let's say I'm just going to create here my account with the Google account. I'll choose my first account. As you can see, to create an account, Google will share your name, email address, and profile pictures with FTTT. See FTTT, of course, privacy policy and terms of service if you're interested. If you don't care, just click on confirm and follow up so as you can see which mobile device do you primarily use this is important and help us find the best applets for you so do you use android or do you use iphone or do you don't use any of those of course if you use both you can check both of them so make sure to choose the device or the primary device that you have for example let's say i'm using android so of course, you can click here on download the app and scan this QR code and you'll be able to download the app right away. You can of course, same for Apple, click in here and you'll be able to download it right away if you click on download the app. If neither, of course, you'll be able just to go and continue. For me as an example, I'll choose Android and click here on continue. As you can see, what brings you to AI FTTT? So pick one to help us suggest the best applets and tools for you. So for you, depending on whatever you want, you'll have to choose whatever you want. So do you want to automate your home? As an example, I want to use automation to control devices in and around my home to simplify my lifestyle. Or do you want to automate your business? As an example, I want to automate my business process uh, to simplify them and save time. Or as an example, sorry, something else, I want to automate workflow to do something else. As an example, for you will have to choose whatever suits you. For me, as an example, I'll just choose automate my home. And as you can see, top smart home tools to make the device in your home work better. You'll be able to use multiple actions, access exclusive pro services, and create like uh, 20 Apple applets, so sorry, and your first seven days are free. If you want, of course, to go and get the AI uh, IFTTT Pro. If you click on continue, as you can see, you'll see here the prices as you can see. So if you want to pay yearly, this is going to be the price. If you want to pay monthly, this is going to be the price. So fill up your card and you'll be able to uh, get the IFTTT Pro. If you don't want to, just click on not now. And as you can see, now you can start choosing your favorite services. As example, this is Google Assistant, this is Glubrication, a lot of things here that you can choose from. It connects a service to create your first applet and you can always choose more later. So as an example, for me, I'll just go here and click Google Assistant. As you can see, connecting to Google Assistant. So here, they'll give you the steps of how to connect this right away. So connect Google Assistant, follow these simple steps on your mobile device to connect Google to IFTTT and create Google Assistant applets. An email has also just been sent to your mail with the instructions below, the same instructions here. So you'll have to go open your Google Home app on your Android or iOS device and the works, uh, of course, with Google section and their settings at IFTTT. So as you can see, you'll have to go and click on settings, click on works with Google, and you'll have to look for IFTTT and then click on, click on it. Please note, the settings icon from your home screen should be pressed, not your account icon at the top right. So this settings option, not the settings of your account at the top right corner. Then you'll have to log in into your IFTTT account that you just created in here. 
And by signing in and authorizing, you are allowing Google to control your services via IFTTC applets. Now, what you'll have to do is simply return to IFTTC and begin creating and enabling applets using the new Google Assistant service. You can, of course, use the IFTTC on your phone or on PC, whatever you want. So if you click here on Open Google Home, as an example, if it's already connected, you'll find some stuff here so you'll be able to automate it or automate it. Of course, if you still didn't connect it, you'll find nothing basically here. So this, as we said, if you want to connect like Google Assistant, as we said, they have a lot of options like August, Ring, Wemo Smart Plug, uh, iRobot, Nescam, MyQ, TP-Link, Kesa, Sonos, Smart Life. They have a lot of things. So depending on whatever you want to automate on your uh, home. Of course, this is for home as example. If we go back in here, like there's things for businesses, as we said before. Okay, so they seems like a log off. Okay, so yeah. It should be like that. Here, of course, as you can see, you'll be able to click on applets. And of course, you can even see what people like how to automate YouTube script with AI, announcing the AFCC AI, YouTube assistance. So here, as you can see, you'll be able to, uh, if you didn't find like the right applets for you, you'll be able to find like some people ideas here uh, that will give you uh, ideas for automating stuff. And it's actually very, very helpful. Of course, you can go and find new services. You can, of course, go... Uh, find some solutions you can go and create some applets for you like an example if this then that so if you go here and click on add as an example let's say i want to automate something so as example i'll just choose uh here youtube as an example so if a new video come from search as an example click on connect you'll have to connect your account then what this should do as an example so sorry then that you'll have to choose something to be done this if you want to do this manually you can use even this ai tool as example, you can give him prompts and they will create stuff for you. As example, so if uh, like I got a new email, so on my Gmail, as example, creates a post in Facebook. Let's say that. And of course, you'll have to enter the, uh, the click the enter button. As you can see, You'll not be able to use it, this AI tool. Why? Because it's just for uh, the Pro Plus users. And of course, you'll have to pay around uh, $15 a month. If you're paying yearly, it's going to be $12.5 a month. So if you want to, of course, automate everything, like even the AI can do everything for you. If you want to do it classically, you can do everything by your own. Example, go and look for the app that you want. Example, you can uh, look for Gmail and simply just select it from here. And then you'll be able to do every other thing that you want. So you'll be able to create some custom applets for you. You'll be able to choose some applets that's already used in here by people. You'll be able to optimize and do a lot of other stuff. So there you have it. You've taken your first steps into harnessing the power of automating with IFTTC. That's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.